said shifting. Shifting. Pro Laser 3. Shifting. Yep. Just doing what it's supposed nothing to do. That, nothing that time, right? No. There we go. It doesn't say the speed or anything? Uh, it must have disappeared. There we go. Yeah, there that's we go. what we wanted. It's working. That's, that's what we wanted. That's what we're trying to that's figure That's exactly out. what we wanted. Yeah, I see laser. Is that laser? Uh, yeah. It said R laser. Yeah. R laser 3. Yep. Shift. It says auto. Okay. Yeah. Laser Pro. I don't hear anything though. Yeah. Front laser, pro laser, three. Oh, it said pro laser? Yeah, it says pro laser three. Oh, I don't see the new updates. I don't think they, it said it on when we did the BMW. So it's actually telling you the model and all that stuff? Yeah, that's, that must be new. Good stuff. This is going to desert. So as you can tell, guys, we are back up here with the one and only Tunes, Andrew. <laughs> We got a Hellcat this time. Red Eye. <laughs> Red Eye, not mine. But it is a Hellcat, and as you can see, we got a radar gun. So what are we doing today? So just like the BMW, it yeah. has the Escort Redline 9, uh, mm -hmm. 9500. Sure. This one we did front and rear protection for mm -hmm. laser jammers. Yes. For Speeding countermeasures, if you want to be speeding countermeasures, if you want to be correct. Sure. Um, this one, instead of getting the three sensors up front, since it's a little bit wider of a body, this client went with um, four sensors up front. Four sensors up front. Still the two in the back. Yeah. Um, we stepped up a little bit, did a little bit more custom mm -hmm. than we did. Uh, each each one of these, I try to just step it up just a little bit more, a little bit more. Sure. Um, his request was to put the gauge somewhere on the mirror. Yeah. Uh, that we were showing earlier. Mm hmm. Um, and then everything else he kind of left up to me on how and where and as long as it works. So this is the fully installed radar laser system. Correct. Shifting system. Shifting. We don't use the word jamming. Correct. Okay. Uh, a bit of, uh, we got a little bit of trouble in the last one. I we did get in trouble. <laughs> Good trouble, mind you, as far as I'm concerned. Nothing legal. It's yeah. Legal here, so. All right. So we went with four sensors up front, two in the rear. Correct. Uh, can we see what those sensors look like? Yeah. So I was going to do full pods and everything on gotcha. here, but the sensors kind of blend in a little bit more factory than I was expecting. Oh, so yeah. Just kind of keeping them raw and exposed was a little bit better than so just looking at this, doing custom. Yeah, so if you're watching this video, does anything about this front end look different? Probably not. Everything looks pretty much OEM, right? Except for, what do we got there? So we got the, we got the three sensors in the bottom. Yeah. So since this is a four system, four sensor kit yeah we have two receive uh three receivers so that's a receiver that's a receiver that's a receiver oh, okay oh and wow i did not even see that one <laughs> nice yeah that one's really tucked very in clean and then this one's the transmitter so gotcha. this is what actually does the jamming of it gotcha uh i'm sorry shifting the shifting so basically what happens is we're protecting the outer side of the vehicle with mm -hmm. the outside sensors sure the dead middle with this one here sure and then whenever they receive the signal this one goes out and says very nice and messing with the gun. very nice that's such a clean off. look. Such a clean look. And that's neatly tucked in right there. Did you have to take the whole front end off or? Whole front whole front uh, bumper cover and everything. Front and rear bumper cover. Came, came off. off, okay. Majority of the interior came off just so we could run the wires, you know, behind airbags and sure. all that. Um, trunk panels had to come off so we could run the wires, you know, with the factory gotcha. and all that stuff. So, But you're familiar good. with doing that. I mean, you, you do Mopars I've all done, day long. I've done a, a few at this point. <laughs> okay, quite a few. Okay. So look at that. So you got three sensors and then you got the transmitter, right? Yeah. Transmitter's in the middle. Correct. That's the lower middle one. Lower middle. And the ones on the outside, they cover the, the outside of the vehicle. Yep. And the one in the middle, obviously the middle, and then you got the transmitter. That looks clean. You cannot tell that anything is there until you get up on it. You certainly couldn't see that one there. So this is the front and we got two in the rear. So the rear, we did something a little bit special on it. Sure. All right, so as you can see, we're in the rear of the car at this point. Does anything look particularly interesting here? Anything look different? Right there in the corners. What are we looking at here? So, no real great place to put them on the back of this vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, rear protection is not the highest of priority, but yeah. it's still something we want to protect. Sure. Um, so there's really no great place to put them. We can't put them up here, we can't put them over here, we can't yeah. put them on the bottom. Yeah. So we put two custom pods in here for it. Very nice. uh, so they kind of blend in just a little bit more, just so you don't actually see the sensor mm -hmm. itself. Since sure. You could just look at the license plate and see that he's got Sure. Here. And if this car was black, it would blend right in with the body. Yes, you probably sir. wouldn't even see it. 
Yep, and then we did a, this is actually a special acrylic mm -hmm. that those lenses are. Yeah. So it actually allows the infrared light to pass through it. Gotcha. But not, but we can't see the sensor behind it. Sure. Okay. Two up front, and then we got four in the front, two, uh, four in the front, in the front two, two in the two rear. Two in the rear. Yeah. As I said, there's just not a great mm -hmm. amount here. So one's transmit, one's receive. Sure. Um, just for a little bit of rear protection. Then we got mm -hmm. behind the bumper here, we got the radar receiver portion of it. Gotcha. Just like similar to what you would have on your dash mount. Just mm -hmm. since we're further out outside the vehicle, it's mm -hmm. going to be a little bit more accurate. Gotcha. Actually, a lot more accurate. Is it fair to say that it's just as effective in the rear as it is up front? Or... Well, because of the lack of n the number of sensors and all that stuff. Spots sure. Unprotected spots. Sure. Um, now, if the, the cop is, you know, a mile away, like super far away, mm -hmm. they'll probably pick them up right away. But gotcha. Chances are they couldn't lock onto you in the front, so they're going to try to get you in the back. Gotcha. From what I understand, they're not supposed to do. Um, <laughs> from what I've been told, I don't know how true that is. So. Yeah. That's not legal advice. Don't take it from me. <laughs> um, yeah, don't push that. Yeah. Basically, we just want. In the event they just try to get something in mm -hmm. the back here, we want a little bit of protection. Sure. Without, you know, we're not cutting up bumpers and stuff to make it optimal in the back. The front's the bigger priority. So now, if this is your first time seeing this video, maybe you didn't see my last one, explain exactly what this does. Because this doesn't jam the signal, it shifts it. Yep, so basically it prevents... We want to make that distinction. So it doesn't... We're not doing anything with radar. Sure. Jamming, shifting, modifying radar is Is illegal, 100%. All 50 states. The LIDAR, everywhere. or the laser... Yeah. What it does is it kind of just shifts the signal back so sure. it can't get a nice accurate read. Sure. Basically, so if you're driving past, you know, going a few miles an hour over, mm -hmm. yeah. um, and you hear it go off and it starts saying shifting, what yeah. it'll do is it basically gives you that time to slow down and allow them to get a accurate reading. Sure. There it is, shifting, shifting. Yeah. It doesn't say the speed or anything? Uh, it must have disappeared. There you go. Yeah, there That's we go. what we wanted. Work. Is there a certain amount of time that it gives you between what they read on their end and what your, you know, I set it device. for four seconds. Gotcha. So you, get so you got four seconds to slow your ass down ASAP. Much, which you can do on something like this. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You can adjust it if there is an issue. Mm -hmm. More than four, that's when people, that, it that's gets when suspicious. Like, why haven't I locked on? Why haven't I locked on? Um, and then we never do jam to gun. Yeah. So we don't want to make it so you can just blast through them and jam it the entire time. At that point, sure. they're just going to be like, something's wrong. Something's and they're just going to go find out. Yeah. But even if they did file it, find out, legally speaking, we're still legal, right? Correct. Okay. At least in this state. In North Carolina. In North Carolina. If you are in Virginia, you're screwed. You're screwed. Uh, South Carolina, I think shifting is a, uh, a ticket, like a parking ticket. I'm sure. Or something. No mm -hmm. one's ever told me. No one's ever got. No one I personally know has gotten a ticket for it in South Carolina. Gotcha. So just so happen you are in Virginia. Do you have to disconnect this whole system? Can you turn it off or? You can turn it off and mute it if you want. Sure. Um, nice thing about Escort. Because they have radar detector detectors. Correct. And nice yeah. thing about Escort is they have the total shield, I think is what they call it. Sure. Um, the shielding on their radar heads on these. Mm -hmm. um, it has a, I don't know if it's the same or very similar to the Stealth Bomber. Yeah. So they can't pick oh, it up. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. So they can't pick it up. And then you can also power it all down. Mm -hmm. And then when it's sitting here at idle, you can't, nothing's going to respond. Good stuff. So this system is going to act just like a regular radar detector. It's going to detect your K-band, K-A-X band, mm -hmm. all laser, that. all that stuff. But it's also going to shift it. Correct. Gotcha. It's so it's all in one. It gives you the the ability to slow down and prevent yourself from getting a ticket. Sure. That's a clean setup right there. Like, truth be told, if you didn't know what you were looking for, you may not even notice it back there. You might think that that's just, I don't know, just two extra sensors or something like that back there. What do they call them? The rear uh, parking sensors, backup sensors. You wouldn't think anything of it. That's a clean setup. And like I said, if it's a black car or dark blue or you got a dark wrap, you wouldn't even see those two sensors back there. You're seeing it because it's black on gray. But that's a very good looking setup right there. We're still not 100% done in the interior, but we're like, you know, 95% there. Sure. Um, customer requested that we put it up here. Originally, mm -hmm. he wanted it off to the side. I just couldn't find a way to make it look nice. That looks clean. So we, in CAD, we mm -hmm. I basically yeah, 3D scanned the, the mirror, mm -hmm. and then I designed this little pod to hold the display on the background. Mm -hmm. And then we actually have a piece of acrylic, so you can't even see it. Um, sure. The display module itself. You can sure. only see it when it lights up. Yeah. So any other time, it's just completely blacked out. Yep. So. Let's see, I forgot how to do this on top of my head. We bring the brightness all the way down. Full dark, minimum, medium, maximum, auto, full dark. Full dark. 
blacked out. Very mm -hmm. nice. And then Medium. Maximum. Mm -hmm. brings it right back. Sweet. And what do we have down here? So this is still in production, mm -hmm. still making it. This is going to be just a little plate to hold the controller. Mm -hmm. So you know, you have your mute settings and everything on your radar detector. Sure. So you have your mute. You can obviously we just showed you how to change the brightness. So mm -hmm. You can do your markers as well if there's always a constant false alarm. Gotcha. Um, there's an LED. As you can see a little bit of the green poking through here. What's he doing? Oh, that's my neighbor. He loves cars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if we look here, here is the. Let me close the door. I know you're getting annoyed. Here's the controller down here, right in your little section. Got the power on, volume, mute. So when you start getting an alert, you can just mute it, turn the volume up, knocked, all that stuff. Knock big guy like <laughs> and then you got the display right here. This is very clean. Like, look at your rearview mirror. Then you got your display. My man loves my uh, T-Rex over there. That's what he was talking about. But that's clean. That's clean. Look at this setup. Something real small, out of the way, but still visible to you. This one here, we're going to do um, a little bit of a, we're going to do a Hellcat logo here. Uh -huh. And the eye for the red eye here is mm -hmm. going to be a clear piece of acrylic. Um, you can see where I got that little slit there. I kind of mm -hmm. messed up the size. Uh -huh. And that's going to be the LED for it. So when it's all green and everything's good, um, it'll be a green red. LED. Uh -huh. When you get hit, I think it turns to red. Nice. All right, so the rule of thumb is the radar detector feature is always going to work. See, he's doing shooting us from the back, and it says rear pro laser three. You see the R, and it stands for rear. If it was F, it'd be front, obviously. Yep, still working. There it is, shifting, shifting, pro laser three, shifting. Yep, just doing what it's supposed nothing to. Nothing that, nothing that time, right? No. There we go. It doesn't say the speed or anything. Uh, must have disappeared. There we go. Yeah, there that's we go. what we wanted. It's working. That's, that's what we wanted. That's what we're trying to that's figure That's exactly out. what we wanted. All right, guys. So that was that. Wide body Hellcat charger. So it does have an application for Mopars. What brand exactly is this? Brand and model? Escort. Escort Redline 9500 CI. CI. And that's uh, CI control custom, integra custom, custom integration. Integrated. Custom integrated. All right. So he does all the installation, tunes. As always, do we want to talk about price? Uh, you know, do you want to hit them with the so, the big numbers? Obviously, this is not your your cheap three hundred dollar no, Amazon radar is, detection kit. Yeah, this obviously isn't a dash mount. Or yeah, anything. this is a much more involved process. Yes, and it's not the same equipment. Sure. So you got to remember, there's kind of like two systems here. Sure. So this system starts at forty three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. um, this per this particular client upgraded a little bit from there, so yeah. we're up in that forty eight range. Sure. Um, and then we have a couple of days of labor on top of everything mm -hmm. between removing the bumpers, yeah. uh, making sure the mounts and everything fit right, mm -hmm. angling them right, making sure they're you know square and level and all that. Gotcha. Okay. And in installation, everything is done here at Tunes Car Stereo. Correct. Gotcha. Everything's in house. Everything's in house. So you see it here, 2023 red eye charger, Hellcat wide body. It's got the what, what's the make and model again exactly? <laughs> Escort yes. Redline 9500 CI. CI, custom integration. And it's legit. Four sensors up front, but then again, that can differ depending on what the customer yeah. wants. So You can do probably, three, you could do what? We could probably get away with three on this car. Sure. Um, he just didn't want to take chances on it. Yeah. Um, it gives us a better dispersion pattern to counteract the speed, uh, the laser a little bit better. On gotcha. Gotcha. And then if we're on like mm -hmm. a truck like your TRX or something like mm -hmm. that, we would probably put as many sensors up front as we possibly could. Sure, because it's so big and wide and all yeah. that stuff. You just want to make sure everything's covered. All right. So as you can see with the test, it shifted the signal in such a way that the gun could not get an accurate um, read on the, the speed. Correct. Gotcha. So when we asked you what did the read looks like, he didn't see anything. Yes. Gotcha. And that's that four second kind of buffer that you have to slow down. So once it starts shifting, yeah. it'll stay on for four seconds. Yeah. After that gives you, and it comes up on the display, it mm -hmm. starts beeping and chirping at you. Yeah. You hit your brakes, you go down to a, your correct speed limit, your 60 miles an hour, whatever it is, mm -hmm. um, and then let them get an accurate reading on you. Yeah. And then, you know, a few minutes on the road, you go back to what you're doing. You're good to go. All right. So we saw it first on the BMW. I told you that we were going to see it on a Mopar at some point, and we see it on a Mopar. So as you can see at this point, Charger, Challenger, you know, scat pack, Hellcat, wide body, slim body, he can do it.
Yes, sir. All right. So as uh, as always, guys, like, subscribe, comment. Talk to my man Andrew here, at Tunes Car Stereo. That's where I get everything done on my cars. You've seen them before. I'll put the link and everything in the description. Talk to him and uh, get yourself taken care of, man. Stop dealing with those police officers. Stop putting that cheap equipment in your car, too. <laughs> get some good stuff. He'll take care of you. And of course, it's legal. Yes. All in right. North I do in North it Carolina. Is it is legal, which is the state that we are currently in right now. North Carolina. It's legal. Correct. Okay. Radar jamming is not legal. Correct. That's Correct. not that has nothing to do with what's on this car. This is laser, laser shifting. LIDAR, Dragon Eye, Pro Laser. That's yeah. just the one that I have. Uh, that's what that the system will Thank you. Shift. Everything on this car is 100% legal. He takes it to get inspected. It's fine. It's going to pass with flying colors. Okay. We only do legal work here at Toons Car Stereo. Nothing illegal. All right. <laughs> As always, guys, just had to give you that disclaimer there. See you guys in the next one. Peace.